In this video, I'm going to show you how to use YouTube analytics to grow your channel in 2018. And hey, I'm going to do my best to keep this simple and to the point, so stick around. Hi, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. YouTube analytics, it's what a lot of people join YouTube for. Said no one ever. Listen, analytics can be kind of complicated, but what I'm going to do in this video is simplify them as much as possible and give you some highlights of what you can look at to help understand what your channel's doing and how to help you grow. Let's get started. All right, so let's keep this super simple. We look at analytics, which are simply statistics about what our channel has done up to this point in an effort to understand what has worked well in terms of helping our channel grow, more views, more subscribers, versus that which has not helped the channel grow, maybe underperform compared to other videos. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at those numbers and we're going to try to use them to identify what we've done in the past, how our channel has performed, to figure out what we should replicate what we should do in the future in order to capitalize on those things that were successful. You got it? All right, so we're going to take a look at the analytics on one of my other channels uh, from the main channel page. This is the new version of YouTube in the dark mode. Uh, we're going to click on Creator Studio. Now, within Creator Studio, and I'm going to try to keep this as high level as possible and try to give you some quick hits as promised so from here we jump into analytics now one of the areas in analytics that i visit most frequently is real time you find it over here on the left real time shows you what your channel is doing now there's a couple things that you want to pay attention to on this screen your last 48 hours are going to show is going to show you the traffic for the last two days what's been going on and the more you watch this the more you'll get an idea of what the norm might be for your channel so when you start to see changes in estimated views if these start to go up it might be an indicator that an individual video is popping or getting more traffic than usual this is typically the place where you would identify that first so it's always good to check in on your real-time stats on a somewhat regular basis to see what's going on in this case we can see 960 views over the last two days 21 in the last hour and if we scroll down below we'll see all the videos if we then click on the last 48 hours we will see those sorted by most views to least views and we can see which are the most popular videos on the channel now this is important for a couple different reasons one it shows you what's driving the most views on your channel so you may want to consider making additional content along those lines but also if a video doesn't in fact pop and starts to receive a lot more attention than it has been normally you would see it here and that may be an opportunity for you to release another video or a couple videos on that topic and try to capitalize on that burst or that growth that spurt of uh, additional views and what you can do when you do that is you release the video and then you can leave a pinned comment in the video that is currently popping and direct people to the other video that you've just created on the same topic. All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you is in the subscriber section, the subscriber report. Now, I previously did a video which explained back in September, I believe it was September 18th, uh, YouTube made a change that provided a little more clarity as to where subscribers were coming from. And now that we've had some time for those stats to build up, this is a great way to get an idea of the type of content that you've made that is actually driving growth, aka more subscribers to your channel. So what you can do is if you come into the subscriber section and you click up here, on the calendar you set the range and just go back to September 18th because that's when they made that change and apply that and then you're gonna see your subscriber additions since that time now if we scroll down we will see that YouTube watch page is where a majority of the subscribers are coming from at least on this channel so what we can do then is drill into that YouTube watch page and this will show us the videos that are driving the most subscribers to the channel. And obviously this is important in identifying who your audience actually is and what type of content they are most interested in. This was actually one of the tools that I used to kind of focus this channel 
pay no attention to the dog in the background to focus this channel in on camping because the camper remodeling videos that I did were noticeably more successful than some of the other content. All right, so the next section I wanna talk about is audience retention. Now, if you come into audience retention on the channel level, you're gonna get an overall assessment of what the average percentage is that people view your content and what the average view duration is. In this case for this channel, it's a couple minutes. Overall is 38%. Now, some things to keep in mind, average percentage viewed, I find it to be a little bit skewed when looking at a, an entire channel in this way, only because things like live streams, which tend to have a much lower average percentage viewed associated with them can kind of skew the results. So I like to be able to use the audience retention on an individual video basis. Now, the best way to do that is if you go into the overview section, the overview section is going to show you your videos sorted by one of these options, but you can't necessarily get to your newer videos because they're probably not leading the list in watch time reviews or anything like that. So what you can actually do is next to where it says top 10 videos, it says browse all content. And that allows you to sort by upload date and that's going to get you your most recent videos on so you can actually drill into one of the more recent videos in order to get to the individual analytics now the in individual analytics are helpful in identifying how that individual video has been performing and also digging into the audience retention on a given video to see how good of a job you did in capturing attention and keeping people engaged in that content. This particular video hey, the average Dan. Uh, is an automotive video, a how-to video. And you can see that we have an absolute audience retention, which basically provides you a graph throughout the video that shows you how long people hung on or what percentage of people hung on to watch a certain portion of the video. In addition to that, there's also relative audience retention, which basically compares your retention numbers to other videos are similar in length. So as you can see, when comparing this video to other videos of the same length, you can see that it stayed above average for, for quite a while before it took a dive here at the end. So it had, uh, for the most part, above average uh, relative audience retention. But this information can kind of let you know if you are creating uh, engaging videos and if not, you can kind of identify what the particular area is where people started to lose interest. And this can give you tips and you know ideas on how to approve that for the next video. So if we look at this particular video. For a month and a half since we used the AC stop leak. So I certainly think that that is a testimony to what it can do for you. Now my understanding on the AC stop leak, so what it does is it lubricates the gasket. So so in this, as you can see in this video, in this general area, I was kind of winding down on the content and there were probably people who picked up on that and started to fall off. One of the things you can do is try to make sure to push your content as far to the end of your video as possible and then do a really quick conclusion and wrap up at the end so people don't start to feel the end coming and bail. All of these things, all of the information that you collect in analytics are just ways to understand what has happened on your channel in an effort to give you guidance on what you should do going forward. That's basically the point of analytics. It's just statistics based on what has occurred that you can use to understand what is working and what isn't working and how to focus your channel in the future. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, consider subscribing to the channel and click that bell notification icon if you'd like to be alerted for future videos that help simplify YouTube. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier, and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.